if you copy music, it's not only the artist that suffers, it's everybody that's going into making the CD. There's producers, mixers, musicians, and many more. Please don't steal our music if you are really smart, guys. Use your computers to be creative, not to steal. Please don't kill the music business. Please stop copying music. Making music is not just my passion, it's how I make a living. Copying music from the internet or on CDR hurts countless songwriters and artists all around the world and stops us from making a living. Please don't let that happen. The concept of uh, stealing songs is wrong, but we will have to find a way to make the internet work for everybody. Ultimately, you're depriving new acts of being supported. So, basically, if you're copying music, you're only robbing yourself. The only thing we want to tell you is, please don't copy any more CD. Now, youngins, if you catch your parents copying music, tell them that it's wrong, it's bad, it does not help us at all. We become very appreciative to find fans to go in and, and buy our records um, the right way. I'd rather give somebody something than having them take it from me. So copying music from an artist without their permission is robbing from them, and that's wrong. Please don't burn CDs and don't download music. This will kill the real music, and this will kill new artists. This is very important. Do it. Think about it. Feel the music. Don't steal the music. Bootlegging is a disrespect to, to you know, artists, all different kinds of artists. If you're not going to get the CD, then there's, there's not going to be no concert because, you know, if we don't sell enough albums, then you don't, be, you don't go out on tour. But support your artists. If you really love your artists, yeah, you'll test it out, but you'll actually go out there and buy the real CD too. So say no to piracy. So seriously, guys, if you're a real fan, you know, don't steal it. Go and buy it.